Hello everyone and welcome to what is hopefully the first of many videos that I'm going to be uh, putting out on modelling um, miniatures. Some will be painting, some will be uh, converting, some will just be chatting about uh, the hobby. Um, one thing that I've decided to focus on initially um, is the painting of um, different uh, uniforms. Um, quite often a uh, one that seems to crop up in, in conversation has been quite tricky to do is, is to paint white. Um, you can, of course, get white paint straight out of bottle, but it's not a very natural um, finish. Just you having a, a matte white surface doesn't take into account any of the um, folds in the cloth or, or um, light um, from above. Um, and therefore it does seem to, to put people off. There's a few different approaches. Um, we'll cover um, a couple of those. Um, first of all, using just um, acrylic paints. Um, the, the model on the left is where we started. It is a bit surprising perhaps to see a, a black undercoat for a, a white model. Um, black's quite a forgiving colour to use as a primer. Um, if you miss a bit in the deeper recesses, then you're just leaving a, a shadow, um, which is fine. If you've primed with another colour, it can look a bit odd. Um, in the deepest recesses to have a, um, a, a white or a, an off-white, for example. Um, the first step um, on this Victrix 28mm uh, Austrian Napoleonic infantryman um, wearing uh, a helmet, which marks him out as one of the, the German regiments. Um, first step was to do a bit of dry brushing with an, an off-white colour. Um, I've used Vallejo game colour um, Elphic Flesh but any sort of beige colour is, is going to do. Um, this light dry brush helps to uh, pick out the details to make it a bit easier to see um, when painting. Um, and also it, it does some highlighting for the black in one step. Um, again, black's another difficult colour to, to paint without taking your time and putting on a few layers. So if we're looking at a model from three feet away, as is the sort of tabletop standard approach, um, a quick dry brush with something light to pick out the raised edges looks absolutely fine in my opinion. Base colours to apply for the uh, uniform. A grey. Uh, game colour, extra opaque, heavy blue-grey. Um, this range have got quite dense pigment in them, so they cover black really well. That's just one coat um, of the heavy blue-grey there. Um, on the uniform and the cross straps. Um, I've taken a bit of care to leave a bit of the black showing around the cross straps. Um, again, it's for that three feet away, looking at the model, you've got some definition around the straps instead of it all just blending into one, if I'd been a bit um, less careful with the application of the grey. The skin tone has been base coated with Vallejo model colour beige brown. And the musket stock uh, with flat brown. Uh, if we swap to the rear view, you can see where we've used the heavy blue grey on the uniform and the great coat on top of uh, the pack. The straps on the pack are picked out as well. Um, and the flat brown has been used there for uh, the pack itself um, and the, the canteen. I'll move on now to uh, some of the highlights that were applied. The white, in inverted commas, um, is actually a very light grey, uh, Vallejo game colour ghost grey. Um, a slight uh, off-white I find usually gives um, a, a nicer appearance than pure white um, and it also means if you want to do any more highlighting you can still go um, that little bit brighter. Um, most uniforms after a couple of weeks on campaign, even if they were uh, bleached white when they came out the, the mill, they would be pretty grimy. Um, so grey or um, off-white. Um, is fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, looking at the other highlights that we can see here, um, the flesh around the cheeks, the nose, um, has received a highlight of 
extra opaque heavy skin tone. I've also picked out the, the fingers and, and knuckles just to add a bit of definition to the hands there. Turning model around again, look at the highlights on the pack. Beige brown, um, used that for the, the base for the skin, I've also used it for the, the highlighting of the, the pack there. Um, there's also a couple of little highlights on the, the musket stock, uh, which might be a wee bit tricky to, to get the focus for. Maybe see them a, a bit better there. It's the impression of wood grain. Um, that's not an absolutely necessary step, but I just like to do it. Okay, moving on. The model on the left um, has had some colour applied to the uh, facings um, and the cuffs and collar. Uh, extra opaque, uh, heavy ochre. Um, yellow is quite a difficult colour to um, paint. It's quite light. A lot of the paints are, are not particularly pigment dense and take many coats. Um, but this heavy ochre um, is very good um, at covering over the, the black. Um, the Austrian army had facings of all different colours, um, pretty much everything under the, the rainbow. Um, I chose yellow mainly because it's quite a difficult one to, to paint as well, but that's a, an easy way to, to do it. The metal work has also uh, been painted. Uh, Vallejo uh, model colour gunmetal grey. Um, and that's for the, the musket barrel. And there's a, a plate uh, on the helmet, um, which has been done um, in brass. So a little bit in there. And the back of the model. Uh, on the cartridge case, a um, hanging below the pack and um, there's a little brass plaque to, to pick out there and um, can also see um, where we've applied the, the uh, heavy ochre um, on the, the back of the model and um, there's a little bit of heavy ochre around the crest on the helmet as well and realistically um, you'd be absolutely fine to, to leave the model at that and um, that has all the necessary details picked out, an extra bit of colour for the facings, and um, the metal work done. Could be left like that. Um, I've taken a couple of extra steps just to add some further highlighting. I've used a, a flat yellow to highlight the um, facings. less of an impact is the, the gold highlight for the brass maybe showing uh, my age with the choice of uh, silver highlight for the, the metal um, almost 30 year old pot of mithril silver there and um, that's used on the, um, the musket um, and uh, the final um, detail stages here, um, not necessary by any stretch of the imagination, but perhaps if you want to start getting uh, something that's slightly more than just a, a tabletop quality. Um, amongst a regiment of 36 um, 28 mil um, Austrians, I wouldn't go to this step at all. Um, but if you want some uh, display pieces or um, something for the front rank that just stands out about this might be some extra d details you want to do. Um, I got my very small uh, brush out to add a little bit of highlighting to the knuckles, um, tip of the nose, cheekbones, with some light flesh. The white was highlighted just that little bit further with some off-white. Um, I took some time to revisit the um, the boots um, helmet um, where there is some black. Use some German grey to coat most of 
uh, these surfaces except the deepest recesses uh, and that was highlighted uh, with a bit of Citadel um, Eschen Grey. Got a bit more um, wood grain effect on the musket stock with some uh, Vallejo model colour light brown. Um, and I did a bit of um, washing as well just to sort of blend some layers together. Um, Army Painter uh, Flesh Wash. I always use a bit of their uh, mixing medium just to thin these down. Um, it flows a bit better, doesn't pull as much um, and gives you the opportunity to build up um, some colour as well rather than risking putting too much down and, and obscuring what you've done. Um, so the flesh wash was applied to the flesh, yep. Um, also to the brass plaque on uh, the helmet um, and a little bit actually over the musket stock as well, just to add a bit of redness there. It's quite subtle. Um, and finally, um, again with a bit of the, the mix and medium, um, I took some dark tone. Um, I applied that to the deeper recesses um, of the uniform, mixed about one to one ratio, um, and a little bit on the uh, pack. Once I'd uh, added the, the wash, went back and did a little bit uh, more highlighting with the original colours. But there we go. So, um, hopefully that's been a, a fairly easy to follow step-by-step -step guide. Um, I will be looking at other methods of, of achieving a white uniform. Um, and there are some uh, primed um, Austrians, but this time I'll be using the Citadel Contrast approach in the next video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, I hope people would like to see more, uh, would like to uh, subscribe to this channel, and if you've got any comments, please post them below. But thank you. Bye-bye.